Hi everyone, in this video we're going to the guitar gym. I get asked a lot for exercises and things to strengthen your fingers and coordination, so I thought let's just do a few different videos with a bunch of things that I do myself of these kind of exercises, simple finger exercises for coordination and strength. This is part number one. I'm not exactly sure how many parts it will be yet. I'm just gonna keep making the videos and hopefully you'll get loads and loads out of it and get everyone's fingers feeling much stronger. Stay tuned and I'll show you a bunch of exercises you can do to get those fingers moving faster. In this lesson then, we're going to the guitar gym. But if you haven't done it already, click like to like the video. Hit subscribe to subscribe to the channel and click that alert bell so you don't miss any updates. There's a PDF with all the stuff I'm gonna talk about in this video that you can download. So just have a look in the description. There's a link for that. So as I said in this video, we go into the guitar gym with some finger strengthening exercises and coordination stuff. So let's first talk about why would you do these sort of exercises to get better at the guitar. Some people may argue that we're just gonna play songs and in solos. Cool, if that's what we wanna do, that's absolutely fine for myself. I quite like doing these kind of exercises. I definitely find it improves my coordination. Great for warming up, and I definitely it's helped me over the years play a lot faster as well. I often compare these to a rugby player, as an athlete. Now I say rugby because I'm from Wales, and rugby is kind of like the national sport of Wales. No matter where you are in the world, it could be soccer, American football, ice hockey, whatever it is, okay? Athletes doing top level sport like that, they don't just play their sport to get better at it. Now, again, going back to a rugby player, a rugby player needs to be fast, they need to be strong. They don't just play rugby to get faster and stronger. They go to the gym, they squat, they bench press, they do sprint exercises, you know, they do long runs and all that sort of thing. So why then can we not do that kind of stuff on the guitar? And that's the whole point of the guitar gym. We're gonna do these bench presses and these squats. No, we're not actually gonna do get up and start squatting. I mean, that'll be a bit, bit funny on my YouTube videos. I'm not gonna do that. Nobody wants to see that at all. We're gonna do the guitar version of squat and bench press. So in this video, we're gonna do some simple two finger exercises. Now this stuff doesn't sound pretty, okay? It's not the loveliest sounding stuff. It's not like you're playing a sweet lullaby. They sound a little bit angling and a bit discordant, not the nicest sounding. And I also wouldn't recommend practicing them for too long. You literally wanna practice this stuff for five minutes a day max, okay? Any more than that, and it'll probably do your own head in. I know it does with me. I literally use it just to kind of keep my fingers in check, five to 10 minutes of this stuff, and that's me done for the day. So here we go. Here are some two finger exercises you can do. I'm gonna start in the third fret with my index finger, and I'll put my index finger on the third fret on the low E, and I'm simply going to play this. I'm gonna play three, four, and then do the same on every single string. So three, four, three, four, same fingers, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, all the way to the high E, and then I'm gonna do the same coming back. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. See what I mean? It does not sound the prettiest. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Now, that was picked. You can do the same thing with legato, which is hammer on and pull off. So I'm gonna do the same thing, hammering on. So I'm plucking once per string and hammering on. Again, like I said, not the nicest sounding. Okay, so that's part number one. That's the hammer on. Now, we can do these with every set pair of fingers. So let's do the same thing. We're gonna stay where we are. And now we're gonna use our third finger and our middle finger. We're gonna do frets four and fives like this. So picked, so I'm gonna go four, five, 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 four, five with my middle and my third and backwards. Five, four, five, four, five, four, five. Okay, and again. And then I can do the same thing with hammer-ons. Okay, so that's the sort of the second one, lick two if you like. Then let's move on. This is where it becomes fun. Let's use our ring finger and our little finger, okay? So we're gonna stay where we were, one finger per fret, and we're gonna do five with your third, 
six with your little finger, okay? And it's gonna be five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. Keep going. And the same backwards, five, six, five, six, five, six. Now that is probably feeling a lot harder even when you're doing picking. Now, let's do the same thing with habrons. It's going to get even more tricky. So here we go. This is probably the hardest one of all of them, so don't worry if you struggle. Five, hammer on to six. Five, hammer on to six. And backwards, five, hammer on, hammer on to six. Okay, so that should feel pretty difficult, okay? But what a great finger workout, especially if you're not used to using your little finger, your pinky that often, this is gonna really, really strengthen it. It is the hardest kind of movement when we're playing guitar between our ring finger and our pinky. So this is a great way to sort of get that finger independence. As always, I'd recommend putting a metronome on super, super slow and just gradually building the speed up with these. Do not rush what you're doing, okay? So obviously then, with the same thing, we can go the other way around. So we, we're we sort of going up, we're doing three, four, three, four. We could do the other way around, four, three. So we could do this. The same position, I'm keeping my hand where it is. We're gonna go four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, and again, four, three, four, three. Okay, so there I'm using my middle and my index and I'm doing four, three, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, all the way up. Same with pull-offs this time. Okay, and no surprises what's coming next. We're gonna change our fingers for our ring finger and our middle finger, so we're gonna get fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret. Fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret. And again. That's all picked, let's do the same thing, pull-offs. Now that's hard. And the same again. Don't worry if you can't keep up with me, okay? I've been playing these a long time. Start super, super slow, even if you need to go, you know, this kind of speed. Or even slower, just find your own pace and get a metronome on as well, just so you have a solid sense of time. Surprise, surprise, what's coming next? The hardest one we're gonna do in this video. Pinky to third finger pull-offs, which is coming up, it's gonna be difficult. Sixth fret to fifth fret, so here we go. Sixth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret, fifth fret. Little finger, third finger, little finger, third finger. That's so hard. And get ready for it. The hardest thing we're gonna do in this video, the same thing with pull-offs, here we go. Stick with it, it's very difficult. Whew. I need a protein shake now to get the protein running to those fingers so they get even, even stronger. Okay, that's really hard. That last one is so, so difficult. I mean, I've been playing guitar now 30 years and I still find that final one really, really difficult, okay? So that's enough for the guitar gym for one day. That should give you plenty to practice for a few weeks. In another video, I'll show you different variations of these and plenty of other stuff like this because, you know, often playing the same kind of exercise like this can get over and over, gets a bit boring, so I'll give you plenty of these to practice, but that should be enough for one video. You should feel your fingers a little bit tired. It's a really, really hard on your left hand, that one, or right hand if you're a left-handed guitar player. So stick with it, take it slowly, no rushing. This is not, we're not doing any ego lifting. You know, if you ever go to the gym, if you, you see these people trying to lift loads of weight, it's not about that at all. The key to getting faster and more precise in the guitar is slow and steady practice, okay? 
Don't be rushing ahead, having it sloppy. Nice, slow, steady practice. Stick with those because I guarantee they're going to really, really help your finger independence and build up speed. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't done it already, click like to like the video. Hit subscribe to subscribe to the channel and click that alert bell so you don't miss any updates. If you want the PDF with all that beautiful guitar gym stuff written out, you'll see a link below to a free PDF in the description. Also, come check my guitar school out, Fretlix, www.fretlix.com. I actually have a full masterclass hour long all on this sort of stuff. If you love this sort of stuff, come and sign up and you can be able to get access to all of that sort of thing. Hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you again soon.